Hello you guys, Viral Trends here. Once again, and today I want to bring you 10 teachers who had sex with their students. Ooh. So I handpicked 10 that had an interesting story or were <coughs> pretty hot, uh, just to make an interesting video out of it. Make sure to watch the entire video because what some of these teachers did with their students is just crazy. So stay tuned because this is going to be one hell of a ride. But before you do anything else, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications to make sure you don't miss any of my videos. Also feel free to smash that like button if you do both of these. Please make sure to leave a comment saying I sub or something funny and I will make sure to answer every single one of you. Thank you guys very much. But without further ado, let's go straight to the teachers. So first of all, we have Mary Kay Fualau, formerly Mary Kay Letourneau. She's an American school teacher who pleaded guilty to have two sexual encounters with her 12-year-old student, Vili Fualau. So for this, she served six months in jail with three months suspension. But the thing is, during these encounters with her student, she got pregnant. So she had her first baby born when she was on parole after the sentence. What makes this story even crazier is when she got out, she went straight back to her student and she got pregnant again. This time she didn't get that lucky, so she had to serve 7 years in jail. If you think the story is going to end here, you're dead wrong, because when she got out, she decided to marry her student, which is why her last name is now Fualao. Just a crazy story with a really weird ending if you ask me. I mean, it's nice and all that they found each other, but it was, it was a very strange start, considering he was only 12 years old at the moment and she was 33, so something a bit off if you ask me. So next up on the list we have Abigail Holloway who was on suspicion of 15 counts of child molestation and sex perversion. So between the year 2001 and 2005, they reportedly slept together over 100 times. To add to the already creepy story, she said this in an email to her victim. We have a very special relationship. It is a gift from God. Not many people are going to understand that. No shit. But we know in our hearts that God made us for each other. Talk about exploiting your role as a teacher and just taking advantage of your students, just a horrible person. And she was sentenced to two years in jail. So next up we have Christopher Kloman, who was a 74 year old former teacher at an elite Virginia prep school. So he was convicted of sexually molesting five female students in the 1960s. And the girls, who are adults now, were between 12 and 14 years old at the time. So Christopher was sentenced to 43 years in prison. Which is fair in my opinion if you do something to underage girls this harsh. But still you have to consider that the female teachers in this video only got sentenced to like one or two years. Which makes you wonder why the difference between a male teacher doing it and a female teacher doing it should have this big of a difference on the sentence. I don't know if there's any underlying backstory to this, but seems a little off if you ask me. Coming up at number 4 we have Stephanie Ragusa. So she decided to have sex with not one, not two, but three of her male students which resulted in her getting 10 years in prison. She is also famous for smiling in all of her mugshots, which is a little bit weird if you ask me. I mean, it's not a smiling situation you're in right now, but as you can see, when she got her sentence of 10 years, she wasn't really smiling anymore. So coming up, we have Deborah Lafave or something, and she was a middle school reading teacher who seduced her 14 year old male student into oral sex and intercourse. When she was arrested and brought to trial, she and her attorney thought she was too pretty to go to jail. And in the end, the mother and the victim allowed a plea deal and the too pretty former teacher only got 3 years of house arrest, 7 years probation and became a registered sex offender. How someone can be too pretty to go to jail is 
out of my mind, your looks you have nothing to do with the sentence you get or if you get convicted or not. So this is just insane if you ask me. So coming up we have Pamela Joanne Rogers, who is an American former elementary school physical education teacher and coach. And she had sexual relationships with a 13 year old boy who was one of her students. According to court documentations, Pamela had sex with the student on at least 12 occasions. For this she faced 15 counts of sexual battery and 13 counts of statutory rape on February 4th, 2005. So she only received 9 months of jail time, but she was also forced to be on probation for 7 years and 3 months. However, she couldn't let the dream of this young boy go, so she started sending nude photos and sex videos to him which resulted in her getting 7 years in prison instead of being outside in the open, just one stupid decision after another. So coming up we have the hottest of the teachers on this list, who is Megan Mahoney. This 24 year old was facing 30 counts of statutory rape. According to the prosecutor she had engaged in appropriate sexual behavior with a boy at least twice a week for a few months time. In 2015, however, the charges against her were dropped because there was not enough evidence to prove that she actually had sex with her student, so I guess we will never know what really happened between them, but I still decided to put her in this list. We have now come to the craziest of the stories involving Pamela Ann Smart. What makes this story different and super creepy is that she conspired with her 15 year old lover and his three friends to kill her 24 year old husband Gregory. So unfortunately the boys decided to follow her advice and she was later convicted of accomplice to first degree murder and sentenced to life in jail. I think the appropriate way to do this would have been to divorce your husband instead of forcing four minors to murder him, but hey, that's just my opinion. So next up we have a duo, Rachel Raspis and Shelley Dufresne who decided to have a threesome with one of their male students. What they didn't take in consideration was that this male student obviously was very proud of what he was doing and decided to tell all of his friends about the sexual acts he had with his teachers. So the word spread across the stool, got to the teachers and the police were involved, leading to their arrest. According to some unconfirmed sources, this male student is still suffering from pains in his hand from too many high fives from his male students. This is unconfirmed though, so don't take my word for it. I guess it is a dream for a lot of teenage boys to have two hot teachers like this, but still it's super inappropriate and he is a minor, so they should have thought twice about this and not done it. For the last one we have Lisa Lavoy, and she was doing some stuff with her 15 year old male student that she shouldn't be doing. When the parents of the victim wanted the school to investigate the relationship, the pair disappeared. So she took him on a two week road trip up and down the east coast, doing stuff you're just not supposed to do with your minor student. So when she got back she was charged with 6 counts of statutory rape, 3 more counts of statutory rape and enticement of a minor. This will have to conclude today's episode, if you're still watching, you're the best. Because you watched the entire video, which is awesome. So please don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you found it good. And I will make sure to answer all of your comments. I read all my comments I get from you guys. I love getting home from work and just reading the comments and the support from you guys is just tremendous. It makes me happy and makes me want to continue doing videos. So if you're still watching this, go down to the comment section and write something that I can read when I get home and I will make sure to answer it for you. So thank you guys once again so much for watching. I will try to upload videos a few times a week. While you're waiting for my new videos, make sure to check out my old videos also, they're pretty good. I have a few compilations and funny trends that you can check out if you like. So thank you guys once again for watching, this is Viral Trends, signing out. Bye.